Hi, welcome to this tutorial on solving inequalities where the unknown is the power. And I've got two examples here which hopefully you'll be able to model other ones on that are similar to this. Okay? Now, in order to do any of these kinds of inequalities, what we need to be familiar with is logarithms. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with all the rules of logs so far. If not, what I would recommend is you go back and have a look at some of my earlier tutorials. Now, if we start with this one here, we've got to solve 0.92 to the power x is less than 0.1. So what I'm going to do is take logs to both sides in the same base. It can be any base, but base 10 would be the easiest because you'll find it on most calculators. So I'll log to base 10. On the left hand side would have the log of 0.92 to the power x is less than the log of 0.1. Now I use the power rule for logs and that is that the x can come out the front of the log and we have x log of 0.92 is less than the log of 0.1. Now at this stage what we would need to do is divide both sides by the log of 0.92 and that will give me x and so I divide the other side by the log of 0.92. Now when you're dividing in inequalities you've got to be very careful because if you divide by a negative number you need to reverse the inequality sign. Now when you first look at the log of 0.92 you think, well, OK, that's a positive number, so I don't have to reverse the inequality. But if you just type in the log of 0 0.92 into your calculator, you'll in fact see that it is a negative number. In fact, the log of any number, if it's less than 1, if you log it, it always comes out to be less than 0. Try it on your calculator. Try any number less than 1, log it, and you'll find you get a negative value. Whereas if you type in a number more than one, if you log it, you always get a positive number. So you've got to be extremely careful at this point here. Dividing by the log of 0.92 is in fact dividing by a negative number. So we need to reverse the inequality then. So I'm going to put it in red just to draw your attention to that point. All right, so Assuming then that you've done that, all we need to do is then just work out this on any calculator, the log of 0 0.1 divided by the log of 0 0.92. And what you get is that x is greater than 27.615 and so on. And if I round this up to say two decimal places, what we get is 27.62 to two decimal places. Alright, so that's the first example done and it was aimed really at trying to show you this business of reversing an inequality if you divide by a negative number. Now in the next example, the aim of this one is to show you how to handle terms when you get something of the form like this, 5 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the 2x plus 1, which is greater than 2000. Now, we've got two exponential functions being multiplied together. They're, they are in the same base, in this case, base 5. So we can use the addition rule for indices. That is that we can add the powers together and we get x plus 2x becomes 3x and then you've got the plus 1. So you have 5 to the power 3x plus 1 is greater than 2000. Now I take logs to both sides. Again, I'm going to take logs in base 10. So we've got log of 5 to the power 3x plus 1 is greater than the log of 2000. Use the power rule for logs and I can bring the 3x plus 1 to the front. But do remember there's two terms here, 3x and the 1, so we need to put that in brackets. 3x plus 1 being multiplied by the log of 5. 
that is greater than than the log of 2000. All I need to do now is expand the brackets and we have 3x times log 5 gives 3x log 5 and then 1 times log 5 is just simply log 5 and that's greater than the log of 2000. Now I'm going to subtract log 5 from both sides and that would leave me with 3x log 5 is greater than the log of 2000 minus log 5. Next I need to divide both sides by 3 times log 5. Now log 5 is a positive number because 5 is a number more than 1 Remember, if it's less than 1, the log of the number is a negative number, but 5 is more than 1, and you can check it on your calculator if you like, but you'll find that log 5 is a positive number. So that means that the inequality does not have to be reversed. So what we have is x is greater than the log of 2000 minus log 5, all divided by the log of 5 and that's being also multiplied by the 3, so divide it by 3 log 5. Work this out on the calculator. I'll leave it to you to do that. What you find is that you should get 1.2409 and so on. And if I round this to say three decimal places, x is greater than 1.241 to three decimal places. Alright, so that now brings us to the end of this tutorial on solving inequalities where the unknown is the power. And hopefully you can model, as I said earlier, any question you get on these examples.